When many of these protocols were created, they weren't really created with security in mind. The idea when these were created wasn't that there's hackers out there trying to hack your network. So many of these protocols, such as ARP, are really insecure. So we have to figure out ways to lock down these protocols. And dynamic ARP inspection is one of those protocols that allows us to lock down the, the ARP protocol and make sure that there are only legitimate ARP replies that are happening on our network. So let's get onto our switches and configure dynamic ARP inspection or DAI. Dynamic ARP inspection uses the binding database with DHCP snooping. So the first thing that we have to do is turn on DHCP snooping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the global configuration mode, I'm on switch two here, and I'm going to type in IP DHCP snooping to turn that on from a global perspective. Then I'll type in IP DHCP snooping, and we're going to turn it on for VLAN 10. And then we'll turn on IP ARP inspection. And we'll do that for also VLAN 10. So now it is turned on, but by default, all of our ports are untrusted. So we need to start trusting some of those ports. So I'm gonna get into the interface and for this, uh, I'm gonna get into our port channels. So port channel, and then we'll do port channel one here. And then inside of this, we're going to do IP DHCP snooping. This doesn't have to do specifically with DAI, but if we're gonna trust it uh, with DAI, then we might as well do it with DHCP snooping as well. So I'm gonna do that. And then uh, I'm gonna do a IP ARP inspection and trust this port as well. I wanna do this maybe for some of my other uh, ports on here as well. So I've got that. Now, uh, one last command that we can take a look at is what we want it to inspect. So I can do an IP ARP inspection, and what do we want it to validate? So I'll do a validate with a question mark, and I can do a destination dash Mac, a IP or a source Mac. So it's going to validate these different components out of that ARP so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, if I do a destination-mac, and I can hit uh, enter here, and it would just be the destination-mac then. And I can do IP also, but if I add this, it's actually going to take the place of the destination-mac. So if I wanna do multiple of, of these, then what I have to do is put all of them in there. So I'm gonna do destination-mac, space, IP, space, source, dash Mac, and then hit enter. And then all three of those are then going to go into this device. Uh, it's gonna inspect all three of those. So now uh, a dynamic ARP inspection is turned on on this device and then this is inspecting for those bad ARP replies on my network.